Hi, brethren. So I just want to do a real quick video. Um, you're cooking with me. <laughs> I'm a cooking in the kitchen. Okay, so um, uh, the Lord was speaking to me about this uh, idea that a lot of people have that, um, you know, they, they try to keep you under the law of Moses. And um, the Lord said, how can you, how can you test whether keeping the law is um, going to save you or not. Well, <clears throat> um, look at the people who are law keepers, and they all have died, and none of them have raised themselves from, from the dead. The wages of sin is death. So even the popes who have gone before have all died, even though they put themselves in white and claim to be keeping the law, they all die. So, and none of them have raised themselves from the dead, like Jesus Christ did. So, when you look at that, and you look at these people who want to tell you, oh, you got to keep the law, you got to keep the law of Moses, and, and hey, I love the law of Moses, and it was taught in the New Testament, and it, but we're not under the law of Moses, we're under grace, keeping the law is something that comes natural for a born-again believer. Um, and But you still need God's grace because you fell at that law. That's why Christians who keep the law, keep the Romans law or any law in the New Testament, still die. Because the body is corruptible, the flesh is corruptible. But if you're dead with Christ and trusting in the blood of Christ for the remission of your sins, and you, you believe the gospel, you're saved. You're saved. You're seated in heavenly places instantly. You have, you've rested in the work of God. You've entered into God's rest. And he says to strive to enter into that rest because a lot of people are still living under the curse of the law rather than under the free gift of grace and um, living um, by the Spirit and not by the law of sin and death. So if you look at the people who have died and who claim to be keeping the law, or anyone who says, oh, you must keep the Moses law, Mosaic law. Just remember that those who are saying that are literally hypocrites because they die. <laughs> and if you were keeping the law perfectly and you were perfect and holy, you wouldn't die because the wages of sin is death. So if you're not sinning or not sinning, yeah, I guess not sinning, then you wouldn't die, right? So... Um, be careful of those, the leaven of the Pharisees, which is hypocrisy, brethren. All right. God bless you. And remember, look up. Our redemption draweth nigh.